my gosh. Okay, hi guys. I'm gonna teach you how to do some basic across the floors. Um, I put socks on because I don't really want you guys looking at my feet. Uh, for all the people that have like foot fetishes, whatever, I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, we're just gonna get started and pretend I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> um, the first thing uh, is called just a basic jazz walk. And I'm gonna do it across this way, but to show you how your feet should be, uh, I'm gonna face the camera. Um, your feet should be in an outward angle like this. And um, you don't wanna go too far and you don't wanna go like too far in. Like, or that's gonna create some issues. So the way that you can actually figure out how far your feet should be in that angle is take your fist, ball it up like you're gonna punch someone, but don't punch someone because that's bad. Um, you're just gonna take your fist, put it in between your feet like this. And your fist, the side of your, like the arches of your feet are gonna touch the side of your hand. If they don't touch the side of your hand, then that's how you know it's too far. And you need to like scoot your feet in a little bit. But if your fist doesn't even fit, you need to widen it up a little bit. So that's how you know how your basic feet placement should be. It should be in an angle like that. And that just doesn't go for color guard. It goes for like the entire marching band, unless otherwise told to do so. So how you're gonna start this uh, jazz walk is when you first, maybe when you first start out, you wanna, for balance, put your hands on your hips. Make sure your body is boxed out, but your hands might wanna be on your hips. If you already have your balance and everything like that, try and do almost like a ballet stance. Uh, your fingers need to have energy. Um, don't go too stiff, don't go too bent. It just needs to be like curved gently, like that. But if you are not there yet with balance, I would put your hands on your hips. All right, now it's time for taking the first step. The first step is gonna be, um, you're gonna count uh, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and one. On one, your foot is gonna hit out like this. Make sure your toes are pointed. You don't want your toes like flexed and you don't want your like foot going wonky. You need your toe and your leg pointed. It's very graceful and lovely. Um, but yeah, let's try that together. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and one. That's what it looks like. Now, from going step one to two. Oh, I also forgot to mention, the first step is always with the left foot. Um, don't go with the right foot unless it's instructed in your drill. Um, but you're always gonna start with your left foot. That, I don't know why, it's just a thing. Um, but yeah, always start with your left foot. Now from going one to two, you're gonna go, um, you're gonna have that first step and you're gonna, on the and count, your foot is gonna pass the other and be pointed in the same way. Make sure your feet are still angled out when you're marching, um, when you're doing these jazz walks. Uh, it just looks more graceful and it helps with the flow and movement of everything. If you have it like this, uh, you can hit your knees, you can, yeah, it's just a, a whole bunch of things that could go wrong. Um, so make sure your feet are still pointed out. Also, when you're taking that second step and you're passing your foot, first foot, do not like, uh, bend your knee at all. You don't want to bend it fully because that looks choppy. Uh, you're just going to want to gently pick up your foot and slide it. So like the ball, or no, um, I don't know what it's called, but the little top part of your foot is just going to drag on the ground. But not so much that it's like audible, just enough that like you're not picking up your entire leg, but you're not like dragging. So here's what that looks like. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Like that. And that's the same way that it's gonna be for all counts. And usually, unless it's instructed differently in your drill, uh, all the odd counts are gonna be with your left foot and all the even counts are gonna be with your right. So there is one more thing with these jazz walks that I need to teach you guys, and that is called a place closed. 
It is something that uh, we use when we're doing practicing drill. That's how you know when to stop. And it's basically just bringing your left foot into your right. So let's say I took step number eight, and then we would do something called place close. And it's basically just bringing your left foot into the right. I'll show you guys what that looks like. We'll do uh, four counts and then a place close. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, place close. I feel like that was really awkward, but uh, yeah, just make sure you have your toes pointed and everything like that. Um, I will actually do it to the camera too so you can see what it looks like facing forward. I will do eight counts uh, in a place close. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, place close. So with that last count, um, you can just count that as place. Um, it's it's going to be really hard to get used to it first, but when you do the counts, like one, two, three, place close, instead of one, two, three, four, place close, because that's going to give you an extra count. Um, place is going to, uh, in a sense, take place of what would be the last number and then close is just bringing in your other foot. All right, I hope you guys have luck with that. I don't know if you can see me, uh, but good luck and just keep spinning.